Leakix is a platform or you can think of it more like a service that actually scans the entire internet and uh, you can actually report if you're a researcher on Leakix, you can actually report leaks uh, sort of like in a responsible way. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to show you how I create reports and how you can create reports as well. So uh, first off, we have the main page here. Uh, we have this um, very interesting monitor, which I really like because this, is, this isn't this is actually an animation, but this actually happens in real time. So these are uh, as it scans the entire internet. So I really like this. Uh, when it comes to search, this actually works like any generic search engine. Uh, you can apply uh, like operators and uh, search uh, queries as you would do in um, Shodan or in any other similar engines. Now, if you're just starting out, you might want to look into the search syntax and you might also want to look into. So first off, before the search syntax, you can actually look for leaks and services. When you're looking for leaks, you're actually looking via a filter of plugins, if I can put it that way. And these are some of the plugins that are actually uh, can be found or that are actually used to search and display the results as leaks. As when it comes to services, you can think of services as a sort of like a fingerprint uh, that actually scans or looks at all the ports that are actually found via generic fingerprinting. Now, I usually look for links. I'm not interested in um, services. And uh, like I said, you can look into the search syntax. You can apply operators such as plus, minus, colon, greater than, equal than. And when it comes to fields, uh, you can scan for ports. You can scan for the number of rows in the data set. So this is actually when it comes to how large a leak is. You can scan for uh, the rows, the size, whether or not it has indicators of compromise, whether or not it's been infected. You can look for plugins, and this is actually what I apply in most of my searches, leak count, and so on and so forth. Now, the reason that I'm doing this video, as I said, is to actually show you how I create reports. Now, uh, you can just... Um, search for everything so do not actually uh, input anything in the field and it's going to search for everything and when it comes to leaks it says found more than 10,000 but this is actually probably more than millions but it's probably not um, it's uh, what I wanted to say it doesn't really matter what the number is here because you can scroll if you look down over here uh, you're only being displayed the first nine pages but when you go to page nine you're actually going uh, to get more and more pages so this is actually probably in the order of um, hundreds of uh, thousands of results now uh, we are on the first page and if, if we keep refreshing this page is going to be popular popularized or yeah populated not popularized it's going to be populated with more and more results as they get from the uh, functionality now uh, we have a nice um, filtering here for countries for sources which is the plugins for the fingerprint network IP ranges and so on and so forth and when it comes to the results themselves you can see that they have been found by a certain plugin, .dstore plugin, .elasticsearch, Elasticsearch plugin, and so on and so forth. So let's actually look at something that might appear more interesting. I usually don't look for WP user enumeration, which is uninteresting. Uh, we can look for a .dstore plugin, so we can actually, as you can see in this case, it populates the results, it populates the query, so it actually searches one more time for only the results that uh, have been found with the .dstore plugin, and in this case we can see that in the index there are more than 400,000 results. Now let's actually look at something that might appear sensitive in this case. 
um, something that might have uh, some SQL or some so here's one uh, result that we might actually want to look into uh, we can see uh, a SQL version 2 uh, or ver2 database here and what we want to do is we want to create a report here we can see that the certificate domain is bitcar2u.com let's go ahead and first want to validate this so we can first look into the uh, actual result itself we can see that is ha it has been found multiple times as well as two days ago uh, and also 16 hours ago we can see again that it belongs to bitcar2u.com this is the url and let's actually w uh, validate whether or not the sql database is actually um, downloadable or, or publicly accessible and as you can see uh, this uh, this is actually a valid result so they in a way are compromised so we want to prevent that let's go ahead and create a report um, first off we need to fill a few things here uh, i usually do the keep private thing because i'm not really interested in actually displaying publicly on my profile here whether or not or the amount of leaks that i'm finding and i'm reporting even though sometimes i brag about it on social media and then i fill in with this captcha six five eight uh six three three seven uh okay so now that is out of the way i also want to say that this is critical or maybe at least high then the owner is a bid car to you over here bid car to you what we need here and this is actually a, a key aspect of writing reports first off let's say database leak all right the owner this is actually tricky because sometimes it can take hours until you find um, a contact or an email where you would actually want to have this report being sent and the platform actually takes care of the sending of sending uh, the report and also attaching this uh, sort of like um, proof of your report so we're looking for an email address usually it isn't as simple as it may be here so if we go into the contact we can see that we have multiple emails uh, for queries for general queries this is actually the same email so it's it isn't even a professional email it's a gmail account so let's actually copy this email fill it in here all right and then let's just write some i usually write hello um your database can be publicly accessible and download downloaded as you can see in the proof below please make sure to to what remediate this issue before your information falls into the wrong hands then I'll say regards Christy cybersecurity researcher and that's it so that's how you actually fill in a report the most important aspect is finding the email so this is probably one of the things uh, the two most important key aspects of reporting via leakix is actually validating the finding and then finding the owner email or finding someone who's responsible with the asset that you're actually researching and then i'll just uh, click on create report and the report is actually pending for validation so 
once the moderators or someone with higher privilege on the platform, uh, higher privilege than myself, is actually going to see it and approve it. Once it's approved, it's actually going to be sent to the email that I've um, provided or that I found on their website. So I guess this is a very surface level uh, overview of how you would be creating reports for data leaks via leak geeks.